Looking to supercharge your design workflow? Of course you are. AI can be a valuable resource in improving your process as a UI and UX designer, but often those tools are external. You have to go to the browser here or download an app here. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a bunch of plugins that I've found that are incredible game changers for making your design workflow have superpowers. Whether you're trying to build color palettes, design systems, generate mockups, or maybe just get some creative feedback to help the process, these plugins are gonna be an absolute no-brainer. Let's dive in. UX Pilot is an incredible tool that'll help you generate UI mockups or wireframes very, very quickly. We jump over into Figma, open up our plugin and find UX Pilot. If you do a search for the plugins, this is a paid or potentially free plugin, depending how you wanna use it. When you open it up, it has a really simple interface. We can tell it exactly what we want it to do. Do we wanna make hi-fi designs or wireframes? Retrieve something out of Figma, export to web. All of these options are great, but what I find is awesome is just a set up exactly what you're looking for, maybe a few screens here, a standard design system that it's pulling from, or with the paid version, you can actually connect it to your own design system. Plug in your prompt. In this case, we need a list view for the UI that we're working on and go ahead and generate those high fidelity designs. We're working on an AI transcript mobile application and we have those detail screens here, but you can see that UX Pilot is starting to generate those list views down below. Now I've already used the basic out of the box standard design system System. But again, plugging this into my already established design system will ensure that everything follows the style, visual direction, and patterns and components that I have set in place. UX Pilot has finished its work and check it out. We have two pretty decent looking list views. It's giving me those two options to kind of shop from. The first one has a top bar, some stats up top, separating it by month, just like I told it to do, and has created individual cards for all of my meetings. Now, option number two comes with some filters, maybe creation but both of them have a bottom tab bar navigation, custom iconography. Is this perfect? Am I gonna ship this out of the box? No way, but this has definitely fast forwarded my design process by an exponential amount of time. So if you're looking for some screens, this can be a good one to help generate those screens for you. UI Draft Make is a really interesting plugin that allows you to either generate brand new designs or extend or edit an existing page. Now, quick caveat, Figma is definitely right on the verge or the cusp of releasing their design co-pilot where you can grab individual elements and ask the AI to tweak those and change those using the current design system or whatever you have designed there. But in the meantime, UI Draft Make is a pretty decent solution. I can grab the plugin, go ahead and edit or update something. I'm gonna drill down and grab an individual UI card here and you can see that it presents those UI cards. I wanna go ahead and edit existing and I just need to give it a little bit of a prompt. How about make these more visual with a cover image? And once I've done that, as long as I've spelled things correctly, I should be able to just hit enter and go, and it's gonna generate those on the fly for me. And just like that, it's added my change, adding a cover image to my card here. Now I can duplicate these cards and continue working. This is a really good flow if I wanna riff ideas, just change some things like user feedback, error states, or maybe update a component a little bit. I wanna pause for a moment and say thank you to the sponsor of this video, and that's Mobbin.com. Mobbin is the one-stop shop, best place on the internet to go to find the inspirations and solutions for the problems that you and me are trying to solve each each and every day as web and digital product designers. Mobbin members get access to applications and sites so you can be inspired and solve those problems. I especially love their search capabilities. I can jump over and find things that are trending, category screens, specific UI elements, and even entire flows. If I'm trying to solve a editing profile flow or an onboarding flow, there's 749 examples of the experts who've already solved that problem. We're talking about the best in the industry like Headspace and Grab and Adobe and on and on you go. You can download all of these, bring them into your Figma projects and use them as inspiration. Spend less hours toiling to figure it out yourself and trust the experts that have been solving these problems for years let it inspire you and let it save you tons of time. Subscribers of this channel get a special deal, 20% off an annual plan. You can find that link down in the description. 
Thank you to Mobbin for powering the design community and inspiring us all. AI color palette generator is gonna do exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna generate really cool color palettes for your interfaces, but then immediately add them into Figma and apply them to your designs so you can test everything out. We have the plugin open here. You can see I have my design in the background, but I don't have any current styles or anything like that. And I don't love the real boring look, the generic look. So I wanna try out some different color palettes for this. I can kind of shop through, rotate through some here, look at popular palettes or ones that were prepared just for me. I could jump over to a palette, for instance, like this green palette, looks pretty cool. I'm going to add it to Figma and you can see that it's added it as a series of colors up here that I could then turn into styles. But I can also, for instance, grab my frame and let's just bring this over here and grab that frame and I want to smart apply. So we're gonna hit smart apply. You can see it immediately has applied hide that color palette to my UI design over here on the left side. This allows you to shop really, really quickly. Maybe I wanna look at this pink one instead. I still have that frame. Let's choose the other frame right next to it and just smart apply that one as well. Boom, we've drilled down and we've tried different color variations for our interface. This allows you to move really quickly, try different things out. It analyzes through AI where the color is applied, how it's applied, and then it reapplies those color palettes in a suggested way smartly because it's AI. Pretty cool feature, pretty cool plugin. The next plugin is gonna offer you feedback on your design. It's called UIXX. It is paid, but you do get a couple of free generations here. And all you have to do is grab a frame that you're working on, grab that share link inside of Figma, upload it into the plugin and set it. Then tell it what language we want our feedback in and the different design patterns. We're working on a web or a product. So let's hit analyze here. It's gonna go about analyzing your product and it's gonna embed comments everywhere across that frame to give you direct design feedback on how you might improve your design as a whole. All right, it is done generating the feedback. We can close that and you can see the comments that are starting to in real time be laid onto the design. Each of these comments are gonna have specific direction for you and suggestions on how you might improve the different design you have there. So as I click on it, you can see we're adding comments in real time, number 42, number 43, number 44. When I open that up, you can see the type of feedback that we get here, right? The issue is that the current text lacks visual clarity and color and typography need refinement. And here are the proposed improvements. Adjust the font size, use better color, add a slight text weight variation, implement 0.5 letter spacing, and add a team collaboration icon. You can see that's just one piece of feedback that's coming out of dozens of pieces of feedback. So if you wanna really drill down, maybe you work alone, maybe you're not used to getting direction or feedback, or maybe you are an art director or a product lead and you need some suggestions that you can offer your team, leverage AI to do it. It has a lot of smart things to say. AI Task Manager with Jira is a plugin that's gonna basically grab different sources of feedback and conversations about your designs and bring them in to create a succinct list of to-dos or action items inside of your design file. You can see with the plugin open, I have a couple of different projects. We're gonna go into the note-taking project and you can see it asks you where you would like to generate those tasks from. We can unify things from Figma comments. We could do things like feedback transcripts we have in Google or Zoom, Notion, Slack, sticky notes inside of FigJam and also Jira tasks. Now I'm not such a big fan of Jira. I use other project management software, but it is nice to actually turn all the feedback inside of your Figma design, like here, Figma comments. All we have to do is grab our link here and come back, paste it inside, import that file. It's gonna ask us which page we wanna get feedback from. We're working on page one. Let's generate those tasks. And you can see that it's synthesizing tasks into progress tracking or into project management actionable items for us. And there it goes. It's creating a succinct task list. We can scroll through this task list and open it up. You can click on each one of these. It'll redirect the design. And it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, this is kind of the blending together of project management with Figma comments or some of these other sources, but bringing it all into one, we're able to choose where it needs to go, maybe in progress, which priority is it? There's a comment there already. 
And we can also assign people to that as well as tag that action or that to do. And now when we click on that, we can see who has to work on it, what needs to be done, and it's directly integrated right here inside of Figma. This is about saving context switching and collating or aggregating lots of content from lots of places, maybe Slack, Jira, you know, a, a Notion document all into one and having one accessible to-do list for your yourself and for your team. I think it is a great addition to the project management side or the productivity side of design. Design systems are awesome because they allow you to design consistent and quickly, but setting them up can be a little bit of a pain and that's where figure identity comes in. Now, you go pro, you get way more out of this plugin, but let me just show you the base level that you get. They have a lot of options when you open the plugin to either import something from Figma, get started with AI or custom generate something. But let's get started with AI. We could say something like a modern clothes shop something like that and let's do a landing page for our project and proceed we'll do something like light colors monochromatic and sure let's do brutalism that could be fun we will progress and it'll ask us to choose some images that kind of match the vibe or the tone that we're looking for i like these neon lights quite a bit um, i like the uh kind of light colors that are in there and maybe this building why don't we go ahead and move forward and it's going to give us a printout of our visual style guide now you can see it immediately creates that style guide um, we could regenerate the design if we don't like it but we can set up and get started this leads us into the next portion here we get access to things like color uh, as you can see here typography and notice that it's not just presenting all of it to you and saying that's it you can edit these things on the fly and we get a preview of everything before it's created we're talking about spacing radius stroke everything here now in the pro version you get access to all of it in the free version i can basically just create color variables inside of figma i do that it's going to generate all those tokens for me we're done now what we have here is our design system preview the token preview and the style guide and when we go up to our variables we do in fact have all of our different variables for our project so all of our secondary colors accent colors neutral colors this will get you off the ground quickly so that you are not trying to start everything from scratch but instead have all the resources that you need to begin a project well that's it those are a handful of ai driven plugins that i like to use to supercharge my design workflow what did i miss let me know do you have an ai plugin that you love using leave that down in the comments i would love to know what's top of mind for you so maybe i can start using it and improve my workflow if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more videos on design and ai come out with that being said make sure you sign up also for the free design champ community we'll see you in the next one design champs